Huh, so amusingly, I figured out you can actually... It's actually not too hard to stay in the crouching position if you just keep the Wii Remote and Nunchuck in one hand. You can actually steer pretty easily. Like, eat more easily than I can do with two hands. Anyways. Welcome back to Let's Play Wii Ski and Snowboard. Where was that person that I found last episode? Hey, can you have your one brother up here again? Because I thought I saw the two of them at the same time. The sibling and the other person. I don't know if I'm just wrong. Why do you do this? I'll do what I thought I did last time. Just kind of go through here and. Now do I see him all of a sudden? Yeah, how? It's like they suddenly appear from further away. Anyways, hi. Found a ninja. There are currently ninjas to be found. Oh, I can't see him. Hi. I think if we go to the main menu, we can actually take the. Yeah. The outfits of... yeah. So you can wear stuff. There you go. I think from the people you found or something like that. Also, how much time did I waste looking for them? A lot. Wow. Okay. Anyways. Welcome to Let's Play. Welcome back to Let's Play. This game. Huh? Did you see that something new? Oh, okay. I do have the ski patrol stuff. That's interesting. Where's that? I unlocked that or something. I don't know what, actually. Have that. Oh, no, I got some of these other ones. They look like the bride. So these actually have different palettes, too. Yeah, so you, get, uh, you unlock these different things just from, I think from being thumbs ups or something. Looks fitting. I think for the time being I'll go with this. Beautiful. Gloves and boots cannot change while wearing this, fine. I don't need freedom. Back to resort. Oh yeah, you can choose between, choose between night and day too. Turn the shovel on off. Remove what? Yeah, so there's, there's the settings. I don't remember how to actually start listening to those. Night or day? I guess we'll do night, just because we haven't done that before yet. You're pretty good at finding this guy. Yeah. This still up and turned. This is also pretty pretty at night. Forgot about that. Jeez. I like this. Alright, well, let's get going. Just for completeness, I'll have this one guy's little mission active for finding his siblings, although I'm not going to look for his siblings right now after how horrendous an experience that was just now. She 
seems concerned about that. Pretty, and I feel like I should be able to find this one easily. Feels fairly obvious to me, but considering how I thought the other one would be easier, I don't know. So what's your deal? Picking stuff up. Select a lost object. I think I think I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with something a little bit more. I don't know, traditional right now. Something more like racing or something like that, or slalom. Just something a little bit more exciting for the time being. Hey. Yeah. I never actually say anything to you about races, but okay. Let's get into it. Yeah, look at that. Dress for the occasion. Aerodynamic. I feel like having sco snowboards and skis in the same competition is kind of weird. Whatever. This is fairly straightforward though, it's not exactly, I don't know, playing SSX tricky or anything, racing in this or anything like that, but this looks kind of nice. I don't know if it's really a good idea, I don't remember if it's really especially useful doing quick turns or whatever the game's taught you to do these. I don't remember having that much trouble getting through all the races myself when I did them all before the first time I played this game. Keep moving. So the races are actually... I mean, this is the first race, so this is probably a bit simpler than the others. Beautiful. That's what they're like. We can do another one too. Well, it's a little bit more exciting. Hi. You can also emote. You can also accidentally interrupt your emotions too. And you just press the D-pad. You have a couple different expressions. Hi. Fortunately, people don't wave back at you. Oh, see, this one actually... See, that line actually kind of justifies you racing with them. It's kind of nice to have multiple lines for you speaking to them too, though. Anyways... As far as I know, there's not really any actual difference in the experience between using snowboards and skis. As far as, like, them handling differently or anything like that, I've never really cared to try to find out. But I can start using snowboards sometime soon too, just to see if there actually has any difference. I just don't think there is. There's some music here. And as is the case in actual racing, I guess, most of the experience is just kind of trying to find a good racing line and, and just keep your speed going and don't wreck. No. Maybe some other event like Slalom or something we can do around here too. Oh, this one right here is deliveries, I think. Relaxing just fine. No, we haven't. What are you talking about? Whatever. You're gonna pay me for this. 
Wait, you can't fall too, I forgot that's what it was. Oh yeah, you also have to do more specific stuff. That's a weird one. Yeah. Lift one to the top, then transfer lift two. You actually have to go up the lifts yourself too. On the lookout, halfway down. Lift one, lift two, gazelle. Halfway down. You look that lucky. And you can actually see where there are too, that's nice. That jump right there is really strange. I'll talk about that at a later point. That ramp that's there. I do like this because this actually, it's not quite racing, but it does still incorporate elements of actually like navigating the resort, which is kind of cool. Also though, your tire keeps running while you're watching the cutscene, which is kind of weird. So you have to skip the cutscene to not miss out on time. Which is really strange. I like how they're... Whoa, that's not what you're doing. What are you doing? I can see actual maps, too, of the place as you're running around. Do you have to be careful of the not falling over part. And not that you're usually going that fast over particularly treacherous terrain in these particular events, but you need to be careful. One thing to be careful, don't run into the person at full speed. I don't think you actually... Yeah, you actually have to stop for it to count, so you can't just ram into them. There's just a funny little detail. I imagine lots of people have done exactly that. I know I have. Lots of dialogue in this game. Is there anything else we want to do in particular? How much time do I have? Not a ton? I want to mind briefly looking for that one. That one sibling. Just because I like ex I want to have uh, excuses to explore the place. And that's a good way to get to know. Well, the area. Ah. So, a snowplow next to cabins. So that would be, I guess, Falcon, whatever it's called. That'd be seven, wherever seven is. There we go. It's kind of... You, I don't really know how to know if you have to make a connection with your gondolas, but... Oh well. Falcon Wing, it's apparently called. It's a nice deal. Like, and they have all the actual information on them you need and whatnot. This is going to be a pretty long ride, so I guess I probably shouldn't spend the whole time actually watching this cutscene. I want to, though. Look how pretty this place is. Oh, they actually have a tree up, too. <laughs> it's pleasant. I'm just calm. Radio, I think pretty sky, too. No Look at that moon. Jeez. Okay. That ups the pretty dispatcher a little bit, too. It's actually animated. Look at that. See? It's worth taking some time to stop and just... Look at the pretty stuff. Okay, shooting stars all over to us. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, Falcon Wing. You can learn a little bit about the place too. Give us some flavor. Tell us about this. I will not succumb to peer pressure. This crane does her own thing. Alright. 
I, never, I didn't get that ninja costume actually. Maybe you have to find all the ninjas to get the ninja costume. I'm not sure. Anyways, I at least figured that. It would be here that I would find that particular person. Even if not, I mean, we still at least get to explore this particular slope and get to know the place. That's spree jumping. I imagine it would be at the top or bottom of the falcon wing. Well, a bit more air than I wanted. It's evidently not in the middle of falcon wing, but it makes sense to be one of them. One of those two. Here we go. See so how pretty this little section is. The section's just here to to be nice. And you can probably slide on that too. A little tough to do, but you can. Anyways, let's get back up there. Here we are. Hiya. Why are you wearing a leopard print? You're not really hiding, you're just kind of you're standing next to a building. I never found that snowplow. Alright, so how much time does that? Oh, I'm not trying to do that. What are you with this lady? It's about our, all our time for this episode, actually. As much fun as I've been having. You can also just do that. Oh, well, you can actually switch. Interesting. You can switch between regular and goofy. Left handed granny. So we can explore doing this next time, too, I guess. Using the snowboard instead, which I believe controls the same ultimately, but we'll see. We can also do some learning about tricks and the like. Just to get that stuff done next time. But for the time being, that'll be it for this episode. Let's play. We ski and snowboard. Aw, uh, let's find a snowman. We just have more stuff to wear, apparently. Oh, jeez. Okay. Maybe a penguin or something we want, apparently. Special. Okay. Whoa! I didn't expect the different colors actually have different patterns on them. That's kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. They actually do have different patterns. That's actually really weird. I can be like a. I like that detail. That's really cool. So some are like different, like parrots and birds. Some, you know, what's more like a penguin. Oh, look at that. Like a duck. It's actually really funny. Now I don't know what I want. Not a game. There's so many choices. Mask cannot be selected. Oh, I wouldn't mind wearing a mask, but okay. Oh, look at that. Yeah, will you actually be like a parrot? Or a duck? I think that is cool. Alright, so <laughs> we'll wear this next time. And that'll be us. So I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. Let's play We Skate and Snowboard where we were that. Bye everyone. She likes it. She loves it.